I just feel like doing a video. So hopefully this is coherent. <laughs> but I've been observing like uh, the ease of my goings lately. And thinking like this life in Christ is just uh, it's indescribable. There's just bliss at every turn. You know, and even even in the perceived missteps, it's like, oh, <laughs> something new bursts out, and that's like the win-win situation, you know. So I kind of have it at heart to, uh, oh, what does that say? Yeah, I guess it's rolling. I kind of have it at heart to describe or encapsulate or to bring down for general consumption and comprehension these matters of spiritual warfare. You know, the Lord told me not too long ago uh, that uh, your warfares have ended. And it's Bible. Uh, somewhere in Isaiah, your warfares have ended. And um, I, I I had a few adversities and setbacks in life, and so I've, I've kind of got a psychological posture, maybe a little edgy, you know. And um, and I, I just I'm aware I enter into situations, and I'm aware of the issues of my life, and I know the the venues that I step forth in, uh, that I pass through, that I'm irregular, the YMCA, I'm employed at AAA, I travel distances these days and there's some new things bursting up that are pretty exciting too but I'm just aware that uh, what I will call resistance isn't um, I guess an objective it's not a, a cognizance anymore you know and, and usually you know you know you, you go through a nut in one situation and you got like an ease flowing in the other situations and and you know you got all your ducks in a row in the family life but the job you know there's this one particular person that's driving you nuts or you know there's this you know the traffic situation that you're locked into or you know you go to your social events or I go to a gym you know or I got friends and it's just like well, when there's ease in one area you expect there to be adversity in another area and there's just whole dualistic bullshit thinking that's got me questioning because God told me your warfares are ended <laughs> you know and I'm, and I'm and I'm remembering Solomon too when when King Solomon came into power uh, there's a place where it says uh, he has so much favor God said um, I will give you peace from all your enemies all around about. And, and those that were his enemies brought gifts to him and blessed him and, and it made contributions to him for the construction of the temple and for the construction of his own luxurious mansion. <laughs> you know, I mean, think of it. When a, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. That's, that's Proverbs. That's what it says. So peace to you, babies. Shalom. Even from those that you may least expect it from, because you may go into bristly situations and you may have low expectations of certain individuals or how certain circumstances may unfold. But I, I just want to let you know that, that peace belongs to you. Jesus said, my peace I give you. My ple peace, I, uh, not as the world gives, I give to you my peace. My peace, my peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. Let it rest on you. Let peace rest on you. Because he's giving you peace from all your enemies all around about. And they, they can't touch you. They can't touch you. Your warfare is at an end. It's time to let the guard down. It's like time to let the heart get drawn out. It's time to get all lovey-dovey. It's time to, to, to just be who you really are and discover who those in your life are also are in the context of vulnerability and intimacy let the guard down babies show that heart you got light inside this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine you know let that little light shine babies see ya